Hey guys, I'm Lenny and I'm gonna show you how to set up your Git repository real quick. Um, I've created a Rust random Java project in NetBeans and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna first create the repository. Um, on Bitbucket you need to create an account there. After that you can uh, access your repositories here or you can just uh, create a repository right here. I'm gonna name it just whatever. Yeah, it's private. If you don't uh, check this, um, it's gonna be public and anyone can see it. That's good if you wanna show it off to someone, like to public. Even if it's private, you can share it with your friends or coworkers or whatever. All right, the repository is uh, created. And right now I'm looking at the clone thing here and I'm looking exactly at this piece of uh, string, I guess. Let's go back to NetBeans. And I'm gonna create the local repository here. Actually, you can right click the project and there should be versioning, initialize git repository. All right, and now I'm gonna uh, commit. Yeah, just um, whatever. That's the first commit to the local repository. And now I'm gonna push those changes into my remote repository, which is on Bitbucket. And that's gonna connect my local repository to the to the one that's on Bitbucket. And I can save the connection right here. All you need to do, uh, fill in the repository address, name, password, um, save it for convenience, and then it's gonna push those changes into the repository. Yeah, whatever. And here you can see the first commit. So that's how you link your repositories how you link it from NetBeans. It's fairly simple. Um, about the dark skin from a NetBeans, uh, you might be asking about that. It's called Darkula. It's a plugin for NetBeans and you can Google it, download it, install it into NetBeans. If you already have a repository somewhere, and you need to like download the project. It's fairly simple. You just let me delete this project, including the sources. Thank you. And then in theme, git clone. You just um, fill that in. As, uh, as in before and then it should create the project for you and open it and that's it fairly simple under five minutes all right I'll see you guys next time